Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the, um, should we call it the voting, the voting video? This is the video in which uh, you put your votes down below and make any comments or suggestions or criticisms or whatever about the whole round. So, this allows all five videos to be basically condensed into one video once it's all done. And anyone who has anything to say and says who won or whatnot <coughs> can put it on this video. Now, this format is is not made for YouTube, and YouTube's not made for this format, so we're really, really improvising. We're just doing the best we can here. For example, this idea of having a video at the end uh, for consolidating, synthesizing, I think he called it, uh, all of the comments, that's a good idea, uh, and I hadn't foreseen that. <coughs> it is going to be difficult because uh, we can't get other people to post to my website unless I gave everybody my uh, name and password, you know. So, so uh, leave your comments and questions here, and I just want to say I think that I won. I think that Ayn Rand is significant in history. I have been accused of being a zealot, and let me see if I can find a book. Oh, no way I'm going to find it right now. It's <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. I found it. Uh, now, I've, uh, I've been accused of being a, almost a religious zealot for objectivism. Except I don't know how you can um, be dogmatically rational. <coughs> that's, like, that's like praying to God for knowledge in science. So there's a book by Jeff Walker, The Ayn Rand Cult. Um, do not buy it. Um, do not read it. It is ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. Uh, the guy has read a little bit about Ayn Rand, but mostly what he's read is what other people say about Ayn Rand and how much they hate Ayn Rand. It's the Ayn Rand Cult by Jeff Walker. If you're interested in, you know, reading up on what idiots think. Here's another one, The Philosophic Thought of Ayn Rand. This is edited by Douglas J. Den Uyl, U-Y-L, however you pronounce that, and Douglas B. Rasmussen. Uh, and this is also full of garbage. Um, this is academic. This is highly academic, and it is uh, Section 1, Metaphysics and Epistemology. Section 2 is Ethics. Section 3 is Politics. Section 4, of course, would be aesthetics, but they don't get that far. Now, this book, get it and read it at your leisure. If you want to see what academics are saying about Ayn Rand and the way that they discuss her, uh, Ayn Rand wasn't interested in being discussed by academics and academia. She dispensed with academia. She thought it was full of garbage. Someday it may be revived and have, uh, you know, something good going on, but it certainly wasn't the case in her time. And just to take a quick look here, look at the... Uh, you know, marginalia that I wrote criticizing this author's um, statements about Ayn Rand. So I think I've proved my point that Ayn Rand is significant in Western philosophy. Is and will be. So she is significant and when I say her day will come all I'm saying is that eventually she will be recognized. And I, I think she's recognized right now. What do you call millions of books sold and tens of thousands of loyal uh, followers, if you can follow someone without any trail, because it's just rationality, you know, it's just reality. So Ayn Rand's day has come. Uh, libertarianism and their corruption and their meddling in politics is just one of the pieces of evidence that Ayn Rand and her philosophy and, and her absolute m moral integrity of saying it's a wrong, absolutely wrong, and no matter how bizarre it may seem to us, we have to admit that it's wrong, go by reality, and correct it. So, uh, people who before thought, well, we need to be wishy-washy, we could uh, do a little bit and mess around and free some things up, 
Now they're saying, like, let's do away with the entire government. That comes from Ayn Rand's totally unabashed moralism. She just said, this is how it is, this is reality, and anybody who doesn't agree can go to hell. So, and, so the libertarians, their, their moral fervor comes from Ayn Rand. It certainly doesn't come from Hayek or anybody else, or Adam Smith, or anyone else. So Ayn Rand's day has come. It's here. Uh, please leave your comments below. And if, now, if anybody has any resolution they want to debate about, um, Go at it, you know, post your responses to here. One thing I should add is you should go into your videos when you are doing this five, five speech debate format. You should go into your videos after you post them and select the option that allows other people to fo post video responses without any delay so that they just post immediately. That makes it a lot easier and uh, I don't know, hopefully we'll get sort of a system worked out, because right now it's really hard to follow the links through the videos, so this consolidation is good. Um, and I look forward to seeing some of you all debate each other on something, something. So um, I hope that YouTube's not going to be like high school, where I'm the only really motivated thinker. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, put your comments down. Uh, let's have some more debates about whatever.